Saint Pope John Paul II wrote Centesimus Annus in 1991. Centesimus Annus means hundredth year, hundred years. Actually, Centesimus Annus was commemorated at the hundredth year of Rerum Novarum, another encyclical was written by Pope Leo the 13th in 1891. So 100 years after Rerum Novarum, Saint Pope John Paul II is writing Centesimus Annus. In Centesimus Annus, he talks about environment and uh, preservation of nature and preservation of the natural resources. And actually today, Today's world, they don't care for natural resources for their intrinsic value, but they care only the natural resources for profit and gain. That's it. Instrumental value. So Pope is writing that we need to value natural resources for their intrinsic value and we need to stop thinking in terms of instrumental value because these resources they don't belong to just the present generation those who have power those who have money those who have control they can enjoy them all but these natural resources they belong to the past, the present, and the future generations. Each generation should take just enough. You can use them, but never abuse them. So Centesimus Anus talks about the common good. Common good. So where there is self-interest and indifference, common good is trumped stumped out stumped out <laughs> only destruction plunder and exploitation so saint pope john paul ii he talks about the biological wealth a wealth which was given by god it is a gift we don't pay for it but God has given them free, not only for human beings, for all creatures. For example, soil. Only humans can take soil to make brick, to build houses, to build roads. But soil belongs also, we should remember, to other creatures, even to the ants, because the ants make the soil. Humans we never make the soil. The process of making the soil is called weathering. The wind makes the soil, the water makes the soil, the vegetation makes the soil and the organisms like ants they make soil. But we take the soil from them and make bricks. Can you imagine humans think that soil is meant to make bricks? In fact, God denounces in the Old Testament making brick industry. He denounces, confuses the language in the Tower of Babel. Says, no, don't use the soil to make bricks. I mean, can't we get that message? 10,000 years back, our primitive ancestors, they invented this brick making. What is wrong with this? Even now we are following our ancestors' delusion. Can't you think something different? Can't you do that? We boast that our brains are smarter. We know everything. Our ancestors never did anything. They were foolish. Okay, why don't you find your own uh, material to build houses? Do you have to go and build again and again soil? 
Soil is for growing food, for vegetation and for other animals. It's not for building houses. You can build houses, but go and take something else. Nature gives to you. It gives you twigs, it gives you branches, it gives you leaves, it gives you straw, it gives you lemon grass, so much of grass in the mountain. Why don't you use that? Leave the soil alone. Don't use it for profit. Don't use it for business. It's not yours. It belongs to the whole of creation. Don't lay your hands on that. Quit making bricks. That's not life. Get a life. Do something else. Making brick is a sin. Absolutely it is a sin. Because you are killing millions of microscopic bacteria in the soil. You bake them and you burn them and you cook them and you grill them. We are tyrants. We are... <laughs> oh my God! I don't know what kind of species we are. Leave the soil alone. Don't hurt it. It's not a commodity, it's a community where millions of life thrives and lives. Show mercy and compassion towards soil. The same soil out of which you are also made. Did you forget that? You are dust and to dust you shall return, the Bible says. You are made out of the same soil. How can you make a brick out of it? How can you put in a kiln and burn for three, four days? What's wrong with us? We forgot that we made of the same stuff. When you hurt soil, you hurt yourself. When you destroy soil, you destroy yourself. If you burn soil in the kiln for four days, you're going to burn in hell for four million years. Quit making brick out of the topsoil. Topsoil is a biological, it's a treasure, it's a pearl. Seek all the soil first. Everything will be given to you because everything comes out of soil. Life, death, recycle, reuse, fruits, vegetables, gold, silver, clothes, cotton, happiness, everything comes from the soil. Your soil, it will give it to you. So I think that's what Pope John Paul II writes in Centesimus Amos. Simply says, that keep this kind of biological wealth, like soil, like rocks, like other natural resources for the future generations. Don't abuse them. Don't exhaust them. Reserve them for the future generation. So in Centesimus Annus, the hundredth year, Saint Pope John Paul II writes as follows. Our environmental common goods are not only available for careful use and enjoyment today, but are held in trust for the use and enjoyment of future generations. Public authorities must never treat them as having no intrinsic worth, nor do commercial concerns 